So we're going to be taking a look at BIM 360 model coordination today. And model coordination is the application within the BIM 360 platform that allows you to pull multiple models together in a federated model environment and check for clashes and raise issues against those clashes. Um, model coordination, as, as does all of the other applications in the BIM 360 portfolio, sits on top of document management. So this is where your data sits. So let's go into that right now. So we're in document management at the moment and I've created a folder on the left hand side called CADLINE Model Coordination. Now this is what we call a coordination space. So this is where we upload our models to um, to then be federated and clash detected against. So once we've got some models in there, we can then go up to our menu and we can select Model Coordination. And then in the background, this is going to run the clash detection for us using algorithms that are built into the technology by Autodesk. So we don't have to create any rules or do any of that manual configuration anymore. And first of all, you get the option to just view your models in a federated environment. So we can just select the ones we want to look at and then hit view. Um, that will then view those in the uh, Forge viewer, as we've seen in the document management video. Um, but because the model coordination has run the clash detection in the background. We can just go to our clashes tab at the top and those clash results are displayed in this kind of modern um, dashboard really that is dynamic and it's a lot easier to manage than say um, Navisworks clash detection rules and reports. It's, it's very digital and modern. There is no kind of reporting um, in terms of saving a PDF inside of model coordination, it is based on the whole thing being live and dynamic. So what we've got here on the left hand side is we've got, uh, let's say, for example, ductwork. We can cross reference that then with the structural model, for example, um, and we can see that we've got 278 clashes there. Um, as new models get updated, this dashboard will be up to date as well. So this is what you'd use in your um, clash review meetings as such. Um, so we can see we've got 278 clashes there. I'm now going to click on that 278 and that is going to drill me down into uh, clashes that are only related to ductwork and the structural model. So it's going to federate those models for us first of all. Uh, we can sort of have a look around those if we want to. Um, but on the left hand side, this is where it gets very clever in comparison to sort of Navisworks and um, BIM 360 Glue Classic. It gives us a list which is um, refined down to the uh, whichever option we selected on the dashboard. So you can see there we've got a piece of ductwork that's actually clashing with um, five beams. Now, if you've used Navisworks or BIM 360 Glue Classic, you will know that um, by default, that will show as five separate clashes. Uh, but what this has done has, automatic, has automatically grouped um, those clashes together because we know we're just going to move that piece of ductwork down and that's then going to resolve the five clashes that we've got. So it groups them all together. But then we can um, assign that clash to somebody. So what, rather than uh, creating PDF reports, you know, saving them, attaching them to an email, sending them out to your design teams and really sort of managing the whole thing in a kind of paper-based um, format, we can utilize the issue functionality that's in BIM 360 document management. So we can tick the particular clash and we can raise an issue or we can select it as not an issue. So for example, if we're going to resolve something on site or we know that that's not actually a problem, uh, we can just hit not an issue first of all and that will move it into the um, not an issue area, let's say, or if it is a genuine problem, we can tap on issue, we can drop a location marker, just like on all of the other issue functionality, we can give it a description and a title. Uh, we can assign it to somebody. I'm gonna assign it to Justin here, um, choose a date that I want it resolved by. Hit create, that's gonna then send Justin an email. They can click on the link and it will take them straight into this view here. And they can then begin to uh, review that particular clash. So it just makes the whole process of finding a clash and managing the resolution of that clash 
um, much more streamlined, really, by utilising the cloud. Mm -hmm.